So when we're designing our lamp now, hopefully we have some idea of what shape you want to go with. Um, and we have all our settings in here. All the, the variables are set as we did in our last video. So let's get designing. We are going to design this arm. So one of these little pieces first. And we have this kind of set up to help us out here. So this pre-made file is going to help you with this. Um, this is the top diameter of your lamp that you are going with. This down here is the bottom diameter. So you want to make sure that you have enough space to get the light bulb in there. So we can't go too skinny here um, as we go up the lamp. Um, also, zooming in here, we have, this is that nut, that piece that's going to screw on the bottom there. If our arms are too skinny there, we're going to not be able to get that nut in there as it slides in there. So we want to stay away from this, oops, this region right here. So give yourself plenty of space there. All right. So to design these, you can do straight lines if you like, or if you want to do curves, we're going to use this spline tool right here. And let's zoom out here. All right. So I want to start right about here. This is where I was thinking the top diameter should be, and I want to end down here. So all these dash lines are reference lines. They are going to help you estimate some shapes that you want to go with and kind of get you going in the right direction here. And you want to kind of make sure those spots are inside your shape here, whatever shape you're going with. It doesn't have to be like mine. Hopefully it's your own design. Don't just copy me. And notice a couple things in my design here. I uh, gave myself a nice large spot at the top and a nice larger spot at the bottom. If you make those too skinny at the top and the bottom, when you go to put these notches that the other piece is going to slide into there, uh, you are going to have too thin of a, of a piece there. You're going to run into trouble. If you get to your design and you're like, oh, that's pretty good, but, you know, actually I wanted to change some things. I actually wanted, you know, I actually wanted it to come up above a little bit like this so it looks a little different, right? You can play, ooh, that's doing some weird things there. Let's get rid of that. Um, you can drag those points is what I'm getting at there. And, you know, those were joined together. That was constraints. So I'm going to show my constraints there. And I can see that's the one that was messing me up. So if you click this, you can show all those right angles, midpoints and stuff. And if one's messing you up, you can get rid of it. And, you know, play with these a little bit. Do whatever you like here. Make it look good. This is all up to you. Oh, it looks like I have another weird constraint there. Excuse me. Get rid of that thing. That's messing me up there. All right, so now when I move that, it's no longer locked together. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. Something like this. That's looking a little skinny there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring that in. Anyway, you get the idea. Make the shape look good to you. And once you got it, we'll turn those off. Uh, that's a good, pretty good shape. Next step is to put those little notches, as you see here. So let's zoom in right close here. This is what we're talking as the top ring of our, of our lamp is going to be, as we have here. So let's put a little rectangle in there. We're going to start right there, and we'll bring it out. Outside the box is fine there. And the important thing we need to do here is dimension this. So we need to click on this dimension button or push the D uh, key on your keyboard, and that's going to let us set a number there. We have this preset already, so you don't have to go type in 0.2 is the thickness or whatever your thickness of the wood is. Let's type in thickness, and if I just push T, it says wood thickness there, and boom, locked it in as 0.2. We're going to repeat that down here at the bottom. You know, put it in there like so, and there's my rectangle, dimension, and I'm going to say T for thickness again. And there it is. Pushing enter. All right. Next, we got some extra little lines here that we want to get rid of. So we're going to come up here to the... Hey, where'd it go? If something's ever missing, you can say... Uh, trim. Oh, there it is. Um, type it in here in the search bar. 
And now that we have trim, it's going to allow me to cut off the pieces I don't want. So it just trims off the pieces there. Zooming in back up here again. Trim, 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 trimming, trimming, trimming. Getting rid of the parts I don't want. Now you have your arm. We only have to make one because all the other ones should be the same shape. Just repeat it. So that's it for this step. I'll see you soon as we move on to the next one.